Hello everybody, yes I am back at the boardwalk and we are going to do the quest that I actually started, not last episode but the episode before that. Um, and we're going out the same way we did as last episode because we are going to talk to some tribals and probably have a very nice drug induced time. I am now going to creep across the wastelands and I'll see you when interesting things occur. Hello, what's this? A holotape note. Well, well, you know. Blue. Couldn't raise you on the phone this morning, so I'm having Jenny bring you your, this note. You delivered me for store, got turned around, had those news world. And there was an accident. Run off the road by the cathedral. They need some time to sort things out, but Pagano, prob hello kiddies, probably won't want to la wait that long to replace the lighthouse beacon bulbs. You might want to get over to the wreck yourself and hand deliver the bulbs. So here's a question. Where are the beacon bulbs? Oh, hello. And uh, why did he not get this note for many hundreds of years? Let's go into Haley's hardware. And um, yeah, it's a bloke. Hello, bro. Hello, Haley. Well, hello there. Welcome to uh, welcome to Haley's hardware. Where we have. Hard. You're a normal! Where? We don't take kindly to those people around these parts. That was a country British accent rather than the hoi hoi hillbilly. Um, is something wrong? Uh, no, no, not at all. I'm just not used to people all the way out here. My usual customers, well, I usually smell them before I see them. Oh, so who are your usual customers? The swamp folk, mostly. I guess they don't bother me none because I was born here. Right. They mostly trade meat and fruit. Never any cash or goods. Them mercs are good for some trade and real hardware. So if you need ammo or anything like that, I can help you out. Uh, okay. Where'd you get your stock from? I found some of it. Uh, some was here when I got here. I got some from the mercs. And every once in a while, that weirdo with the boat comes up here and trades a few good things. Uh, the weirdo with the boat? So, uh, how long have you had this store? Oh, you're thinking... Uh, no, no. It's not a family thing. I took the name of the store when I found this place a couple of years ago. Truth is, I don't even remember much before that. I woke up here with a headache a couple of years ago with the shop already set up. People came in and started trading. I didn't complain. It just became a job. Uh... Sure thing. Are you here to buy something? Your head? What, what was that about your... Okay. I wanted to talk about you. Oh, no, I can't talk about anything else. Um... Okay, I'm going to just trade with this guy for a bit. And I'm guessing that that building up there... I don't know if you can see it. That building up there, I'm guessing that's the cathedral. Hmm. Well, this looks like the Ark and Dove Cathedral. Hark! Who goes there? Hark? It's been a while since somebody said Hark to me. Hello, Intercom! Who lingers at the threshold of transcendence? Uh... I seek the wisdom of your people, may I draw? No, seriously, the threshold of transcendence. Just let me in already. What? No, you're doing it wrong. If you want to join, you're supposed to get into the right mindset, you know? What's... We don't just take any recruit either. You've got to be willing to see the world a different way. You may not understand. No, I don't. It's important to us. And that means you can't get in unless you've gone through the ritual. Don't worry. It's nothing big. But it really does make a difference. Right. Oh, okay. Verily, I shall taketh your test, and I shall, um, succeedeth? Much better. <clears throat> Wisely spoken, Initiate. Your dedication and, um, flexibility shall serve you well in the ritual of the Mother Seed. Oh, that doesn't sound Venture good. West to the Great Bog. That and sounds worse. And you shall find the mother of all punga fruit. She stands right. taller than a man, and her vines guide our future. Is this a drug thing? And kneel before her wisdom. Oh dear. Only then will you be ready to enter these sacred halls. <sighs> right. Collect seeds from a giant punga plant. And let's be clear. Um, giant punga plant. Quite a way away. <sighs> let's go to Marguerite's shack, shack and travel from there. Bloody typical. Mysterious stranger kill. 
That's my first mysterious stranger kill. Oh no, don't don't do that. Don't drink. Oh well. I drunk. <laughs> Didn't get any music though because I've got the music low. Oh, but that's my first mysterious stranger kill. I feel better. Hmm. Discovered this place, Blackhall Manor. Um. Oh, it would be rude of me not to 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 go on his desk and. No, oh, no, that's not the word. I, um, to to walk by his house and not arrive and say hello. So um, although this is where the baby dolls are being murdered. Yeah, there's the door. In we go. Dun dun dun. Okay. Just a regular house. Is there anyone in this regular house? That's the door out. Oh, it looks like a church, because it's got a pew or something in it. Huh. There's an old dude here. Hello? Keep your distance. What are you doing in my house? Um... The house looks abandoned, I just wandered in. Well, Black Hole Manor isn't abandoned. Not yet. At least have the grace to come speak with her owner properly. Uh, is that with or without my gun? Hello. Good, good. People should be able to sit and have a conversation. Especially in times like these. Well, exactly, Civil times discourse, like these. The greatest of our lost arts. Wouldn't you agree? Um, not really. I usually bludgeon first and ask. I couldn't agree more. I'm glad you think so. Conversation is but one of the virtues that separate us from cretins like those swamp folk. Cretins. Swamp folk who, I should mention, absconded with a book. A precious family heirloom. I wanted to ask you, friend, will you get it back? Um, what do I get in the bargain? Cash, plain and simple. Return with the book, and I'll pay you a thousand caps. No questions asked. Okay, I'll get your book. Good. The fools who stole it believe it has powers, so the thing is probably well guarded. Yes. There's a ritual Bonfire. site east of the boardwalk, in the basement of a ruined house. I think you'll find it there. Right. Bring it back to me, and be paid. Um. Okay, the dark Don't heart of Don't get yourself Black killed. Well, I'm not planning on it. I am planning on looting your house, however. Toodles! Nah, nothing in here, just the quest. Oh, crap! Wait a moment. I need to know. Has Obadiah sent you in search of a book? Ah, uh, maybe. So what if he has? Please, you don't understand what it is you're sent to fetch. That book, the Krivbekne, is a thing of evil. Krivbekne? Okay, what do you want about? Yes, the Krivbekne. The Blackhall mm -hmm. family has a long, evil history with the book. Okay. It was lost to them long ago, but it's found a way back to Point Lookout, and Obadiah seeks to reclaim it. Obadiah's paying. How about you? I can't promise you money, but I have some medical supplies I can share. Please, it would be a good thing you do. Uh, well, if you, I, uh, well, I'll consider bringing it to you. I ask no more. You can find me at my tent on the beach, south of Black Hall. God bless your path, child. Okay. Okay, weirdos. Great. Kriv Beckner. It's the Necronomicon, isn't it? Let's be honest about this. It's the Necronomicon. Oh yes! I dinged from killing some some hillbillies. I have no idea what I'm actually going to be picking now. There isn't a huge amount of stuff that I think is worthwhile. In fact, there is zero things that I think is worthwhile. So therefore, barter gets yonked up. Um, only three more levels left. I actually think I'm going to pick an explorer because I just like the idea of exploring and having everything, you know, the way it's supposed to be. And I murdered a whole bunch of hillbillies outside this house. There you are. 
Here I am. Ow. Oh. I wasn't actually expecting a guy in there. There doesn't appear to be another one, though. Whoopsie. Hello. You know I said that it would be cool in the in the previous verse I said it would be cool if there was another box thing that you could open and you randomly get that that's exactly what they've just done. They've just done, you know, getting random boxes and, and opening them in the world. I approve. I approve. And I appear to have found the sacred bog entrance. Because of course I have. Um uh, that's surrounded by a bunch of bloatflies because they're nasty little creatures. Okay, since I've got enough wild punga fruit, I will, before I do this, I will go back to Marguerite and give her the final part of the moonshine. Okay, come on, Marguerite. Let's have a chat, you and me. Oh, stand up. Well, if it ain't my favourite out-of-towner. That's me. Let's talk about the tonic. Need Is this enough punga fruit for you? Wild fruit, eh? Just as good, if a slight weaker for flavour. Well, what's the status on the tonic? Brewing low and slow, sweetie. Process takes about a day. Why don't you come back in a piece? Okay, I will go and come back once I've gone on a psychedelic trip. Okay. Bog entrance. So much fun. Oh, no. It's a cave. No, I didn't want that. I wanted my Gatling laser. Of course I wanted my Gatling laser. Why would you not want a Gatling laser if you have a Gatling laser? Okay, scary cave. Scary cave. Ooh, I'm so scared. Actually, I'm not. I've got fully repaired power armor and a Gatling laser. Oh, and some bunga bunga fruit. Bunga bunga. Oh yeah, of course. The sacred grove is radiated. <sighs> bunga. Bunga. Bunga bunga. Bunga bunga. What's the red? I was okay with that. That was a decent thing. Well, I guess that's Mother Punga. My... I didn't quite realise how much they look like molar teeth. And how absolutely gross this was. So, um, let's activate the Punga seed pods. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just... I just... Giant hallucin... That cannot be comfortable. That cannot be comfortable. Oh. I just woke up. As if by magic. Okay. And the colour filter has changed. That's never a good sign. Oh dear. So, um... Hmm. The, I, I swear I got all the vault tech bubble heads. So, uh... Activate Bobblehead Intelligence. You found the Schmaltz Tech Limited Edition Bobblehead. The inscription on the base reads, Tisk Tisk walked right into another trap. Exactly how stupid are you? Very, apparently. Although subconscious, you and me are going to have words later. And one of those words is, why did you not get out the Gatling laser? Okay. Let's keep going. Because now... Massive psychedelic trip! Woo! Oh, the strength, the strength, Schmalt Tech. The description on the base reads, this is one situation you're not going to be able to fight your way out of. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yes, this, this was a long way to come. So, uh, yeah. Although I'm not too sure it was filled with Milex. I'm not too sure how... The natives um, all came. Dramatic colour filter change. Okay. What's this one? Endurance. The inscription base, is, base reads, keep it up, you're almost there. Wherever there may be, probably nowhere. Okay. Oh, why is there a saw? There's a saw there. 
Yep, that's a saw. I wonder if this is representing what's happened to me on the outside world. No, that can't be it. Uh, whoa! Okay. Nuka-Cola quartz. Explosions. More explosions. Dada? There was definitely a dada thing just there. Um... I can't see for crap. Oh dear god. The description reads, isn't it funny how everything you get close to ends up leaving? Um, not particularly funny. Oh, that's what the bottles are doing. Um, going da 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 da. I think I've missed something. I'll always can go back to it. Hey, creepy pathways, creepy pathways. Always go on the creepy pathways. And... Well, yep, this is a psychedelic trip. Hello? Perception. This doesn't look right. Not right at all. Mm. No. No, it doesn't. Da 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 da. Oh, and look, there's sewing going on. Soaring and sewing. What could it possibly mean? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. It's creepy, uh, but I get it. Yeah, oh no. Oh no, look. It's... Mom? 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 Activate charisma. <laughs> if my kid looked like that, I'd abandon it too. Oh, fuck you, brain. Yeah, I know what you are. You're my brain. Mommy. Leave me just like... Dead settler. Okay. A martyr. Right? Elder lions. No, I'm pretty sure he was still alive when I, when I left. Moira. Well, I tried to kill you, but you wouldn't stay dead. Oh, and there's, uh, the Megaton Bomb. Dead mother, life in a post-nuclear wasteland, and not a friend in it. Yeah, you ain't exactly blessed. Congra no, no, don't, don't try and get up yet. You'll only hurt yourself. Okay. Mr. Brake. Not Mr. Burke, Mr. Brake. Okay, then. I am going to go completely overkill on these two. There you go. Um. Yeah. I'm out of that trip now. Thank goodness. I, yeah. Oh. Him, I'm a her. Oh, hillbillies. Is there no gender you can't ignore? Seriously? Okay, fine. Ow! Does that hurt? Good. That's a lot of blood. Um, so yes, let's go and... Oh, for goodness sake. Anyone else? Really? Anyone at all? Or should I just fast travel? Well, yeah, I'm going to go back to um, the cathedral. Right, here we are again. Happy as can be. You are welcome to our tribe. Better be after that. Truly, the Mother Panga has bestowed her wisdom upon you. And your mind has been expanded. Uh, what happened to me? Why does my head hurt so much? That is merely the sensation of your consciousness rushing to embrace its true potential. It is the feeling of having no boundaries, no limits. Mm. Yea, though your body will bear the scars, scars? of the ritual, what scars? your soul shall be forever strengthened by the experience. You are now welcome in our cathedral. Enter, enlightened sister. Uh, Punga power perk has been added. You will now receive better effects from eating punga fruit. Okay, um... 
the right so uh oh um I'm trying to thank you could could you just right there we go my pretty pink hair my pretty pink hair yeah right I yeah I down straight I'm getting my gun out oh come on I want to show you what it is and look I have been trepanned now let's get my pretty pink hair back yeah, these guys grow refined punga fruit, which is basically hydroponic funga, funga fruit. And hello, Nadine. Looks like another newbie in the tribe. And still able to string together whole sentences. Ain't you the lucky one? Uh, nice to meet someone else who isn't crazy. Hey now, I might still be ten kinds of crazy. You don't even know me, and you can't tell just from looking. I could be friendly till she stabs you in the neck kind of crazy. Then where'd you be, smart Alec? All surprised and stabbed, that's where. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not try a vegetable, it. so I'm sane enough. The rest weren't so lucky when they got their heads cut open. Um, heads cut open, what are you talking about? You sure you're feeling okay in there? You might want to check your head for a scar. We all get them after going to that bog. You know, the last part of the ritual. After you pass out, they get a guy to bring you back cut open your skull, and free your mind. As in, he rips out a bit of your brain. It's supposed to be the part that holds you back. Oh, they really didn't want to, work out to so not good. hold me back anymore. Anyway, you look like a lively one, so welcome to the tribe. My name's Nadine. Yes. Anyway, uh, they didn't want to hold me back because they've just cut out a bit of my brain. Um, can you get rid of my skull? You're a lucky one. And it probably didn't do any permanent damage. Scar will heal up on its own and you'll be good as new. Of course, you'll still be missing a chunk of brain, but it looks like you didn't need that bit anyway. Now hold still and I'll see if I can help you look like your old self again. So who cut my head? Yeah, it's all a little fuzzy for me, but I've got a hunch. I'm going to go do some snooping, see what I can figure out. Meet me by the riverboat in a day or so, and maybe I'll have something for you. Okay, uh, your mother asked me to find you? Look, it's not Hello, that kitty. I don't want to go home or anything. I mean, I love my ma, even if she does make me want to claw my eyes out sometimes. It's just, I came out here to find a fortune, to make my mark, to be able to bring something with me when I do come back. If you see my mom again, let her know I'll be coming back eventually. Just... Not quite yet. Sure. Um, anyway, I have to yeah. go now. And we're going to deal with this right here, right now. Um, and, by, and by right here, right now, I mean over this way and waiting a couple of days so we can... Mind at ease. We're going to go to the riverboat. Here we go. Hello, hey, Nadine. just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. Oh, somebody I ultimately As a trusted. Totally Not unrelated at all. hint. I'm in charge of his boat now. Oh, where is he, and how hard can he kill him? Wait, Tobar did this? Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab him when the pungaseeds gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sort of. What a bastard. Yeah, he seemed nice enough, didn't he? I wouldn't have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. Oh, I think you'll find my and stomach's you're pretty strong. There, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. Ah, I've got a better idea. Mind me not to mess with you. Damn right. Now, why can't the rest of the world figure that one out? So, that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. I think I'll take over running this ship. 
I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, I huh? suppose in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Of course, you wasteland. can always ride for free. Damn straight I can. Okay, I have to go. Right. Um. Toba! Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that you came out tell of your me? mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head. Yeah, not, aren't you? yeah, pretty much. So it's true, why'd you do it? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. No, I'm but not judging about the murder. But I suppose that came to an end. One way or another. What the <gasps> hell? What? Uh, hang Why are you what the hell and you opened up on me? Okay. Um, what weapon should we use? Let's go with Old Faithful. Dead! Dead! <laughs> Are you sure? Yep, yeah, reload that invisible gun. Ooh, you turned into bits. Um, what have you got? Ooh, bone saw. Dutch's gambit key. Grifter's fit. Interesting. Uh, hello, kitty. Get down, kitty. Move your backside from the table, kitty. Um, tweezers, forceps, and a bone saw. Wow. Oh, my giddy aunt. He's not kidding. Oh, hang on, let's just... Uh... Yep, bits of bone matter floating in a... Activate familiar piece of brain. Why would it be familiar? For some reason, you feel a terrible sense of loss as you gave the familiar... The familiar. Why would my brain be familiar to me? Eh, take it. Can decorate my... My house now. Okay. And I think we're going to leave it there. Thanks, Nadine. I've now got my brain back, albeit in a jar. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I've been Zombie Cleo. I've got my brain in a jar. Class dismissed. <laughs>